Now we're on the sewing version. Remember, this is our front pattern. Right? Do you guys remember? <laughs> so now we're on the sewing version. And what we're going to do is I want to change something about the length. I want to add like something curvy around the side of the length because the shirt dress I'm trying to make or the shirt I'm trying to make for myself. I've seen a picture. I've seen the how it looks physically and I just want that same thing that attracted me to wanting to make a shirt for myself okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pinning the front and the back together to adjust this thing I just talked about okay so what I'll be doing at the side I'm going to first of all on this part here I'm going to mark up um, okay, I'm going to mark up three inches from the side. I'm going to mark three inches upwards. Okay, so you can decide to come in from here so much and just do your curve. Whatever it is that you want, you can do that. Okay, so let me show you what I mean now. I can decide to mark from here to here or mark five inches or four inches or up to you so let me do four inches so I'm gonna mark four inches here so I'm marking from the center front okay this is the center front so from here to here I marked five inches so this is it this is the five inches so what I'll do now is just to connect from here to here. So use your tape first and then you can adjust. So you can use your tape like this. I say your tape, your ruler. Use your ruler first like this. And then use your hand to create the curve, okay? So this part here is supposed to be curvy. So let me cut this particular design out so you see this is it after i was done cutting this is how it looks so this is happening on the front and the back pattern to this point here this is the main point where i join the front and the back together on the side so this this is the sides on both the front and the back Cut this out grab your fabric and grab your fabric and the first thing we're going to do is fold this into two okay so i'm cutting out the back pattern first because on the front we're going to be working on the bottom band after we're done cutting so i'm going to start with the back so the back has to be on the close edge because the open side of this shirt is on the front and not the back make sure you iron down your fabric so that you can easily cut it out without no problem now I'm going to place my pattern paper make sure that the edge of your pattern paper where your center back is is on the close edge of your fabric okay the close edge of the fabric i'm just going to lay it down like this open up the neck and pin this down Okay, cutting the front, remember the, this is the button band, so it means that this center front here is going to be opened. So we're going to be cutting this opened. We're going to be cutting this open and 
this is the side no allowance will be added by cotton only on the shoulders for joining and on the arm also let's get cotton So here is the front piece. Now let's go ahead and create the button placket. Okay, so where you're going to be inserting or putting your buttons and the button holes, let's create the band or placket. The first thing I did was grab my interfacing, and this is not the hard one or the soft one, this is just somewhere between hard and soft so what i'm doing right now is i'm marking one inch and this is going to be the length or the width i don't know what you want to call it of my interfacing and you're going to be seeing where i'll place this interfacing so make sure whatever you're marking it's very long okay whatever you're marking as your um, one inch interfacing should be a very long piece of interfacing and this we're going to be placing at the opening side of the front the center front that is opened we're going to be placing this interfacing there so i'm just going to grab one piece of my front piece and that spot where the neckline is and um, where we have the opening for the button placket you know we left three inches right what i'll do is i'm going to place my interfacing on the edge very close to the edge like this you can see what i'm doing and i'm going to iron this down with my hot iron okay so you can see how close this interfacing is to the edge of the front piece and i'm doing this on the wrong side of my fabric okay you can see that this fabric this is the wrong side this is not the good side and i just placed my interfacing and iron this down um Make sure you trim the excess that is remaining. That's why I said you cut out a very long piece of it, okay? So you can cut out the excess. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is fold this by one inch again. I'm folding it in by one inch. So you can see I'm zooming in. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just folding this in by one inch. So now we have exhausted two inches of the fabric we left. So please take your time you're a beginner okay so you want this project to come out very nice and very clean take your time iron this down just the way i'm doing make sure you fold in only one inch okay do not exceed one inch so now we have folded once and we have as i said two inches of our fabric the last step but not the least we're going to be folding in again that's twice this is the second time we're folding and this is going to be by another one inch making it three inches and this is what we left as the allowance for the button bud okay that is the first allowance we left while we were drafting out our pattern three inches and now we have exhausted that three inches by doing all this fold fold <laughs> so make sure you iron this down and trim out the excess and now we're going to make a long stitch to hold this down to the fabric okay let's go so you see the place that keeps poking out that keep falling out that's where we're holding down and i'm just going to make a long stitch so please make your long stitch just like me so you can decide to make two stitches um i have seen shirts with two stitches but you can see what my own looks like with just one stitch on it okay so you can decide to do you make two stitches but i did one <laughs> And once that is done this is it i did this on the other side of the front piece remember there are two sides so i repeated the same step and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be sewing the front and the back together okay so let's bring our back it's been long we saw that baby <laughs> so this is my back piece i'm going to take off the pin and remember the back piece is in closed edge okay I'll open this up so we see what we have what i'm working with yes baby this is what my table is looking like right now this is the back piece 
and i'm just gonna trim off anything that looks weird okay you're a tailor you know what is not meant to be there okay even though you're a beginner you should know something will be looking very funny trim it out okay you have the right trim it out <laughs> and i'm just gonna grab my front pieces and place them on the back piece okay right side facing right side and you can see that the back piece is longer than the front piece and this is meant to be so because the back shoulder extends to the front let me say that again the back piece is longer than the front piece because the back shoulder extends to the front okay like this see the extension so this is what is going to complete our front okay and this is what we're going to go so by half an inch i know a lot of you have been waiting for this sewing video i don't want to give you guys cock and boo story of what i've been through how i almost lost the clips but thank god we are here thank god the video is available and let's just go sew okay so i'm going to sew the sides by the allowance i left which is one inch and i'll sew the shoulders by half an inch and yeah let's go do that so first of all we're going to be sewing the shoulders by 0 0.5 inch which is half an inch did you guys hear the gunshot yeah it's weird i heard it right now because i'm doing this voice notes really late at night so yeah so i'm sewing this by half an inch and i'm gonna sew the sides of this particular shoulder by one inch so please don't be scared i know you guys that have not done this kind of shots before that was waiting for the video you'll be like ah she don't make me go cut this thing now what's my one joint nah <laughs> this is it okay just follow exactly what i'm doing and trust me you're going to have the same result just like i did okay so i'm going to the other side of the front piece i'll repeat the same step and voila we're done okay the next thing we're going to do is press now pressing is a very important part in making your shirt trust me it is very important okay this is where you get to see what you're working with you know how it looks if there is any adjustment that needs to be made before you start cutting your collar your sleeves you know before you start doing those things you need to just iron this down to see how your shirt is looking the neckline you know your, your armhole and then adjust whatever needs to be adjusted and then go ahead and cut your collar and your sleeves okay so but this is it for me i'm done i'm just ironing and this is where we're going to stop for this particular clip the next clip coming is going to be the sleeves with the cuff okay the sleeve with the sleeve cuff we're going to be drafting out the sleeves joining it to the shirt creating a sleeve cuff and joining it and the last clip is going to be on the collar and that is it for the shirt okay so thank you for watching this particular video see i had to make this video come to you guys like real soon after i was able to get the clips the complete clips and yeah so let's go ahead and sew okay let me know in the comment section if you're able to get to this point and please wait for the next clip to come i love you guys always 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 my amazing creatives okay don't forget to like this video subscribe if you're new and yeah help me share i will really appreciate that and i'll be seeing you guys on the next video which is the sleeves and the sleeves curve okay bye bye for now